friends, welcome back. In the recent past, we have got a session where we have used the Open Vino's AI plugins with Audacity. I hope you would have liked it. Similarly, we have got Open Vino's AI plugins available for GIMP, which is nothing but GNU Image Manipulation Program, and it's a free open source raster graphics editor used for image manipulation and image editing. It's a very famous and one of the most used image editing tools, and it is extensible by means of plugins and it's scriptable as well. And we are going to add the Open Vino AI plugins into the GIMP. And I'm going to show you some demonstrations as well. I'll give you the step-by-step -step inputs in the description section, and you can follow that with ease. Right. The first step is to go ahead with installation of Python. And before I go into the steps, I'll also tell you one thing. This is being tried out in the Intel AAPC, which is nothing but Intel Ultra Core 5. And you can see that I've got NPU here. So this is an NPU powered engine. Right. The first step is the installation of the Python. I have given the link, so please follow that link and install Python meticulously. It's easy and no big deal. Then you have to install the Git. I have given the link as well, so please download the installer and install Git. That's the next step. And yes, of course, we need Visual C++ Read Distributable to be installed as well. The link is available. Go ahead, install it, and that's a few minutes task. And then you will have to come to GIMP installation. We are using 2.99. 14 version and you have to install it and that's a one minute work and you can install it easily once the installation is done we can get in right away into the steps where we are going to get in the open we know AI plugins for GIMP. the procedure is very simple and i have presented it clearly in the description you follow it here and you can try it out if you see this very clearly the first step is to create a directory called as jmp and you have to navigate to your public uh, directory which is available under users and do the git cloning so i have given the link clearly so go ahead and try it out so once this is done you have to issue the command open we know hyphen a hyphen plugins hyphen jmp slash install that bat that's all. It will take time. It will take about five minutes time for you to install everything. Give yes as and when required. And you will get a lot of models listed there. And you can select one of the models. For instance, I have selected one and it will download that model. Go ahead, finish up the process. So once it is done, you will have to go to the edit option. You can see that here. I'm going to edit. You have preferences. Go to preferences. And inside preferences, you've got folders available. Just click folders and inside folders, if you see, there will be something called as plugins and just select that. And in the plugins, you will have to add the path. I have added the path for the plugins that are available from OpenVINO for GIMP. So the path is added and you need to click OK and finish. That's all. You need to reopen and restart everything. Just launch the GIMP and that's it. It's going to be very easy. Can we go ahead and test? couple of options that are available through this process yes i'm i have got a, a image here you can see that the image is very cl colorful and i am going to use the open vino a plugin option so i'm going to layer there you can see that i have got a plugins there i'm going to do the semantic segmentation that's all i am now clicking it and you can see that i've got model names available here device name cpu gpu mpu uh, let's go ahead with gpu and generate the moment you click it it will be generating the semantic segmented image very clearly for the input image that you have given so that's going to be very very interesting and let's see how exactly it does that's all you can see that it's generated it's very very interesting and easy to do try it out at your end and it's going to be fun right what next we will take up the next example Yes, we'll go to stable diffusion. Stable diffusion is again very interesting and we can generate a new image. Yes, we can generate an image as a white cat with a black cat on the wall and no rat in the picture. It's the negative prompt that I'm giving, which should not be included. So now I'm going for best performance load models once i give it will go ahead and work once the loading model process is complete we can generate the image and that will be available in front of you all these are easy to do and you can try it out at your end only thing is all the installation should be properly done so that you can go ahead and get things done smoothly now let me generate 
so it will happen it's very fast in fact you have to appreciate the fact that it's really very fast and all these are very very interesting so i found it superbly interesting it's getting generated we got to wait for this and once we get it generated that's all that's it we've got two white cats on the wall you can see that i've got a cat on the wall i requested for a white cat and another color cat i trust but it has generated white cat that's still okay i've got nothing other than cats on the screen so this is the way we can try things out with the open we know a plugin for gimp go ahead try it out and in case you have any questions in kind of setting it up please reach us out i'll be very happy to assist you thank you